Welcome back to the Hawkmock Motor Vlog. I'm Jeff. I'm Alex. And as you can see, today we are having technical difficulties. So, today's video is not brought to you by Joby because this shit is not working. I had to throw it in there. Sure. So, I just got back from vacation from Nod, shit, Gatlinsburg, Tennessee. And kind of scrounged around throwing some ideas for this video, and we decided let's talk about Harley Davidson poker chips. Now, while I was down there, I visited a couple other dealers just to kind of see bike prices versus up here and if everybody's had a bike shortage, which I thought they would, and they did. But the reason we're going to talk about poker chips is what's the idea behind them, kind of, sort of, and our views on them. So, like I said, I just got back from Gatlinsburg. This fuzzy guy, yeah, this one right here, he missed me, and this, this one kind of missed me too. <laughs> Bit. Just a little bit. I think so, more. <laughs> I probably hit, I don't know, five or six dealers while I was there. And uh, super awesome time. We'll probably dedicate another video to that. But I had a few people that wanted things from down there, and this is where it ties into. This lucky guy and a few other of my friends got t shirts. Now, if you don't know, Harley t shirts are around 35, 36 bucks a piece. And if you have five friends that want one, it's expensive. Yes. And if you go to six different dealerships, it adds up even more. So that's where the poker chip comes in. So, Alex, what is your thought on the Harley Davidson poker chip as a gift? Well, one, it's not as memorable as a shirt, but it's cost effective and it still says the name of the dealership usually or the town it's from so that's true all in all i'd say it's probably just a better idea to grab a chip or two here and there so i like it so how many how many chips did you get uh, let's see <laughs> a stack uh, he gave me a stack like that <laughs> hold on get closer to the camera he gave me a stack like that <laughs> yeah it's like at least seven or eight here, probably. So, that being said, um, like I obviously went to a few, and just so you know, dealer chips range in price from like two bucks a piece to, I've heard, upwards of five bucks a piece, depending on where you are. So, that being said, it also, don't try to buy a shit ton of chips because it gets screwy quick. So I know for me, when I first set out doing chips, my story with them is a little different. So I've kind of talked about it a little bit on the channel, but not much. My best friend growing up came down with a type of cancer called AML, which is acute myeloid leukemia. And when he got sick, I gave him an Oakley sunglass bag, which if you don't know, is similar to this. This holds a pair of glasses in it for me. Well, when he was in the hospital and he was sick, uh, I had a very bright outlook the whole time he was sick that he was going to beat cancer. He ended up not beating it and lost his very courageous battle to it, which we've talked about before. But while he was in the hospital, I gave him a sunglass bag like that full of a bunch of local dealerships. And when I set out, I said, dude, you're going to put your hand in the bag and whatever chip you pull out, we're going to ride to. Well, he ended up, like I said, not beating it, and I kind of liked the idea of having some chips. So, in a night of playing Call of Duty with him at the time, because he was in Boston, I was down here on the Cape, playing video games together, shooting the shit, he said, wouldn't it be a hell of a thing to go see all the dealers in New England? Well, of course, I took that as the, what's your famous saying? Look around right now. The fuck around and find out initiative. <laughs> yeah. So, we fucked around and we found out. So, my ass hit every dealership that was open at the time. Which, or still exists. Or still exists, which I actually just finished this year in June. So, with that, I originally set out, I got a list. Uh, I went on Google and found every dealer in every state. Maine had five or six, Vermont had two, New Hampshire had like six or seven or eight. That light just came on, I could see it in the reflection of the glasses. Um, Mass had like six or seven, <laughs> Connecticut had like six, Rhode Island had three, 
Connecticut, Rhode Island, Mass, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. There's a handful in each state. Yeah. So there's a handful. So um, what I end up doing is you can go to Harley Davidson and buy the big poker chip frame that's like, I don't know, 70 bucks. You can go on Amazon and get a holder and you can actually put your chips in there. But what I did is I went to the local craft store, I think it was Michael's, and bought picture frames and got uh, construction paper, like a five-year-old, cut it out to the size of the frame, hot glued that bitch down, and then glued the chips once I had completed the state and matted it together. It now, works. <laughs> I could have done a shadow box, which I had thought about, but I didn't want to do. So the other side of this is it kind of got me the idea of, well, shit, it's, I have way too many Harley t-shirts, which we joked about earlier, that I probably could wear a different dealer every day of the month at this point. Probably a little bit more than a month, yeah. Yeah, I should stop buying t-shirts because they're so expensive. Up till this year, I never once owned anything Harley, really. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. By the way, your mullet is looking, I don't know if the camera can catch this, but his mullet is looking fantastic. <laughs> um, I was mistaken as Kenny Powers the other night on a jet ski. Uh, ironically, on a, <laughs> on a jet ski. <laughs> oh my god, I can totally uh, kind of see it now. Um, so the other thing that I do want to dabble with is, have you, when's the last time you went to a dealership? Went into an actual dealership? Yeah. Probably Laconia. So have you ever seen the Challenge Coins? I have, but... So they're like a $15 poker chip, and Challenge Coins, so I read about them. Uh, they started with the military, and it's still a big military thing, which kind of aggravates me, because Harley guys are doing it, but whatever, teach their own. And supposedly the whole thing is that you get it from a commanding officer of some type for whatever unit you serve with, and you and your military buddies all carry one, and somebody does a coin throw down at the bar, and if you don't produce a coin, it's stated before the throwdown happens, either you buy a drink for that person or a round of drinks for the table, or if everybody has it, the guy that called out the challenge has to do it, or apparently the other way you do it is whoever has the highest ranking coin wins or loses, depends how you look at it, because either you have to buy the round or you don't buy the round. I don't know. Hmm. So I talked to Mark, who we're gonna try to get on this channel as soon as he's out of the military, and ask his opinion of challenge coins. Uh, I p actually picked one up for him at uh, Bootlegger Mart, uh, Harley Davidson, because he always used to joke when we were younger that he was Bo Duke, and I was like, dude, you're not Bo Duke. So it said Bootlegger, and I thought of him, so I got him one. But dude, them bitches are like 16 bucks a piece. Mm hmm Pricey. Yeah. You kind of smell today, bud. It's okay. We love you. So, why don't you guys do us a favor? Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification for when we drop a new video. Do us a favor, drop down below. Let us know, do you collect Harley chips? Do you not? Do you think they're dumb? Do you think you should just buy your buddy's shirts? Let us kind of know, because I'd be kind of interested. And if you want to send us chips, we will totally put them on the channel. Um, I will even make something to put up on the wall. Hell yeah, dude, hell yeah. You know what, I might get the things I have in my house for Luke and put them up on the wall. So we got New England and we got uh, Virginia, Maryland, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. I know I got a shit ton of other ones. Wow. All right, guys, keeping this video short this week, but like I said, do us a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, drop a comment down, let us know if you like the chips. If you don't, uh, if you do collect them, I'm sure I could trade some off. Um, I personally like giving them as a gift because it's way cheaper than a shirt and I'm a prick. I keep two for myself and give all my buddies one. Sorry, pal. But it's a great gift idea. So, until next time, keep the rubber down, shiny up.